All right, so there are quite a few reasons why your plugin wouldn't work in Elemo Machines. It's quite uh, the same reason why it wouldn't work in any door. So by the end of this video, you'll find out why your plugin isn't working in element ways and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and so one of the reasons why your plugin wouldn't work in element ways first of all uh you gotta come here to a uh, windows button and go direct here to systems and you you have to find out the specifications for your computer in order to know um the bit rates that you're going to download like if your if your pc is a 64 bit um make sure that you download uh 64 bit element uh that's that that is it like you're not going to run 32 bit element when you're running a 64 bit machine definitely you're gonna get some issues uh with the plugins i've experienced this before and yeah that's one thing that you can always do make sure that you're running the exact uh software that is that is compatible with the device you know you know what i'm saying so that is number one um number two so first of all you're gonna have to find out where elements keeps your plugins this is very important so you're gonna come here to edit right here in element with it and go up to the settings so well i think i've done a video before about this uh it's actually a short i think so you come here to the path and there's a whole bunch of stuff here and you come here to vst directory you know this is where element was, uh, this is uh, the folder where Elemomus is actually going to read your plugins. So once, um, hold up a little bit. So once you load up uh, the VSTs right here and you press this folder thing, um, this is exactly um, the the folder that, 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 that actually um, we've been seeing right here. For, for instrument plugins, which you can use another way. You can actually hover around uh, if you know where your DLL file is and you just drag it inside here. But I'm not talking about that specifically. I'm talking about effect plugins. So once you have your effect plugins, this is exactly where you have to put the effect plugins, right? Right here in this folder. So if let's say you've installed like Effectrix and you have an audio file inside here of Element and you know, or you have a MIDI file or anything like that, and you want to add something onto it in order for like Effectrix to read up when I search up for it, like Effectrix, it, it definitely shows up. And when I search up for, um, um vahara vintage verb it comes up well the reason why they come up is that i, I already put them in this folder right here in this folder right here so uh, actually let me go ahead and open up all right so i've come to local disk c and i'm going to program files and i'll go to vst plugins right here so um Every plugin of mine I use, I usually put them all around here. You see, I have a lot of effect plugins that I run in Thickify plugin, Wider plugin, Shaperbox, RC20, Pancake, um, uh, KS Bundles. These are all plugins, the JST base. And not only in Elements, but even when uh, I have other doors, this is uh, the folder that I'm going to set up for it to read my plugin through so that is also another reason why your plugin with it so anytime you install a plugin an effect plugin make sure that you come up here in elements and you see where it keeps the where it reads the plugins from you could actually change that but i would prefer you using that default because usually this is the default uh setting so um any plugin that you install make sure that you drop it to this local disk program files and vst plugins that's that actually um, speeds up everything that like it eases up everything so 
um, um, so in summary with what we've just talked about um, the two the two major reasons that why your plugins wouldn't work in Elemon is so number one is um, always check uh, your PC specifications and is, is your PC a 64 bit or a 32 bit before you run anything and that involves the, the windows that is on your PC is it's a 32 or 64 and make sure that you're running the right software on the device you know that is number one and number two you have to make sure that you set up your elmomis uh plugin folder where elmomis reads its plugins from to um you have to put that your plugin that dll file in that folder so that elmomis may be able to read uh that plugin straight from where it reads its plugins from so i think those are the two major reasons why um a plugin wouldn't work in element ways if you still have issues after setting up all this uh don't hesitate go ahead and um comment and tell me um the plugin that has failed to work if after you doing all this stuff and yeah you can go ahead and email you can go ahead and email me message me on instagram if you have any issues with uh, specific plugins that you want me to help you out so that's it for today thank you for watching the video and yeah i'm out peace as always bye